Nutanix Data Lens is a software as a service running in the public cloud that gives you global visibility and an active defense for your unstructured data. Data Lens includes audit trails and anomaly detection, ransomware protection and recovery, data lifecycle management with tiering, permissions monitoring, and custom reporting for your Nutanix Unified Storage. It's quick and easy to get started with Data Lens. First, ensure Pulse is enabled for your Nutanix clusters. Then go to my.nutanix.com and log in with an account which has access to those clusters. Scroll down to Cloud Services where you'll find Nutanix Data Lens and how to get started. Once you launch into Data Lens, all Nutanix files and Nutanix objects instances are discovered for those Pulse enabled clusters. All you then have to do is go to an instance and select Enable. Once enabled, Data Lens begins to collect audit and metadata information about the environment. The Data Lens Global Dashboard provides a general overview, including total analyzed capacity across the file servers and object stores. To dig deeper into a specific entity, either search or simply click on a file server or object store in the list view. You'll be directed to the entity page, starting with an initial dashboard, which provides a summary of the auditing and metadata information gathered. For a file server, you'll see the data growth trends, data age, including tiered data, which can be managed by data lens. Also the file distribution by size and type. You'll also see potential duplicate files and an overview of your permissions monitoring attributes. Further, you'll see an overview of the auditing information, including most active users, active files, and common file operations. Detailed auditing information is found on the Audit Trails page. On the Audit Trails page, you can search by different criteria like file or user to find specific activity. When you view the audit information based on your search, you can further refine the results by things like operation and date range. Once you find exactly what you need, you can export the results to CSV or JSON for further analysis or to share with other teams. Data Lens Anomaly Detection lets you create rules to help discover specific events like accidental deletions, mass downloads, or malicious activity like malware. Anomaly rules have you specify the operation, such as a create, read, permission change, and so on the operation percent and count, whether the events are from an individual or all users, and over what time frame. Emails are sent to your defined addresses as anomalies are detected. The anomaly dashboard also shows you the anomaly events, the users who created them, and the impacted folders. If you defined an anomaly to discover permission changes, the Permissions Monitoring page is a great place to learn more. From here, you can dig into the specific changes related to an event, including the full details of what changed and by whom. Data Lens also lets you configure risk profiles based on attributes like folders with explicit permissions or folders without administrative access, which helps you understand your initial risk level. Then Data Lens maintains a risk trend which helps you understand if those permission changes are increasing or decreasing your risk over time. You'll also find end-to-end -end permissions visibility from who has access to specific shares and directories, active directory user and group membership information, and the full permission details, including to what do those users and groups have access, all the way down to the folder level. Data Lens also provides ransomware protection, which help you detect ransomware events, protect you from the attack, recover your data, and analyze all activity. Detection includes known variants based on file signatures and unknown variants based on an audit trail activity monitor. You can define a policy for when a ransomware attack is detected to block clients and users or set an entire file server to be read-only. You can analyze a detected threat by viewing the user and client behind the attack 
and listing all potentially impacted files to help with remediation. Recovery, if needed, includes restore from snapshots, either manually on a file-by-file -file basis or recovering the share based on a suggested snapshot from prior to the attack with one-click automation. The reports page is where you'll create custom reports based on different criteria like events, files, objects, folders, or users. You can filter information based on criteria like age, type, size, share, bucket and time range, among other items. You can then select which columns of data you'd like in the report, such as usernames, owners, creation or access dates, etc. You then save the report and choose to export this data out to CSV or JSON formatted files. You may also schedule the report to run on a regular basis and have it sent to email recipients you define. The reporting page also provides pre-canned reports where you can answer questions quickly, like what are my oldest files, who is consuming the most space, or to which shares and folders does a given user have access. As you can see, DataLens gives you analytics at scale for your unstructured data to help you gain insights and protect your environment with an active defense. If you're a Unified Storage customer, we encourage you to start a free trial today or take a test drive to learn more.